And the last case is this that our fx is this in the form of x times vx. So in that case, if you have 1 over p dx times vx, so vx could be anything. vx, not anything, sorry, it's a uc function, which is x to the power k exponential of x sine cos. It shouldn't be x to the power k. If x to the power k, you don't need to use this, right? But the thing is that if you have exponential of x times x, I suggest you to go by k form because to do the shift of exponential is easier than this one. Okay? If you have vx as the exponential term, go to use the case 4 instead of case 5 because it's easier. Okay? But if you have signs of quad, then you've got no way out. You have to use this. If you look, take a look at this formula, it's quite complicated. Okay? This is that if you want to take x out of 1 over pd, you would get x sine 1 over pd vx minus, this is called the first derivative of your PD. It's the first derivative of your PD divided by your PD term squared, and then time Vx, and then this one you would get the function. Could be sine or cos that uh, you can choose like you're going to use as a case 3 or case 4. Oh, I'm sorry, case Two or case three, but like I said, if it is case two, don't use this one. Go to case four. If you have exponential, use the shift of exponential easier. Okay. Now let's take a look at this example. Now, if you look at the function here, it is what case five, where v x equal to sine x, okay? So, in order to find y p here, you got to write this differential equation in the term of d. So that d squared minus 1. So y is equal to 1 over p d, which is d squared minus 1, x sine x. Now, we are going to use this formula to find the solution. So we got the first term x times 1 over pd, which is d squared minus 1, times vx, which is sine x, minus the first derivative of pd. Our pd is d squared minus 1. So the first derivative of our pd is equal to 2d. So up here got to be 2d divided by d squared minus 1 to the power 2. And time is sine x. Now, the first term is equal to we are going to use case 3 to solve for the, our first term. a is equal to 1. You put this square with minus a square, which is minus 1. Okay? Minus 1 minus 1 equal to minus 2. So we got minus 1 over 2x i x. The derivative, the first derivative of sine x is equal to cos x. So you get now. Here we have only these square terms. Okay, so we again we plus um, this square with minus a square. 
which is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1 equal to minus 2. Minus 2 square equal to 4 plus 4. But up here you have minus 2. Down there you have plus 4. So it would end up with 1 minus 1 over 2 cos x. Thank you.